say yo welcome to the bbw show you feel me we talk battle rap basketball and wrestling on a daily basis please subscribe to the channel if you haven't the topic for today is wrestlemania yes let's talk about it wrestlemania is going down tonight when i put this video out wrestlemania is going down tonight but I decided to talk about Michael Cole instead of specifically WrestleMania. Yes, Michael Cole. Michael Cole is about to, about to commentate his 22nd. Yes, 22nd WrestleMania. That is by far the most commentary that one announcer has done on WrestleMania in the history. In the whole 39 years of WrestleMania, he's been the longest voice of WrestleMania. That's crazy to think about. Longer than Gorilla Monsoon. Longer than Vince McMahon, longer than Jim Ross. Michael Cole has called more WrestleManias than all of them. He's called, this is going to be his 22nd WrestleMania. Jim Ross probably called about 14, 15 the most. Vince McMahon did less than that. Jer Gorilla Monsoon did less than that. You feel me? Michael Cole has called 22 WrestleManias. Wow. That's a big deal, bro. That's a big deal. And he's been in WWE for what, 25 years? From 1998 to 2003, 25 years. He only missed, they made, a, they made a big deal about it when he missed the first episode of SmackDown, I think. He missed the episode of SmackDown a few years ago for his daughter's wedding. That was the first show he missed in 25 years. Damn. Damn. Like, bro, Michael Cole gets a lot of flack, bro, from everybody. From fans, from former wrestling announcers, everybody. But he's really, really good at his job. Really, really good at his job, bro. And they do it for 25 years. You don't think Vince McMahon is yelling in his ear? Same way he did Jim Ross. Same way he did Mick Foley. That takes a wild person to take Vince McMahon screaming at you for 25 years. And still come to work the next day. Like, bro, Michael Cole don't get enough respect from people. I ain't gonna lie. And then you look at all the people that he created as announcers. You feel me? That he started off like this is the first time announcing and they put down with Michael Cole. Taz in the early SmackDown era. Taz first time announcing was with Michael Cole. Taz went on to become a great announcer. He did announcing for TNA and now he's doing announcing for AW. You cannot tell me that Michael Cole did not help Taz as an announcer. You can't say that, bro. Another one, JBL. JBL was retired in what, 05, 06? Once he retired, he became an announcer. First time doing it. With who? Michael Cole, you feel me? Because they trusted Michael Cole that much. Um, Pat McAfee. Pat McAfee, bro. Nobody knows what's going on with Pat McAfee. If he's going to come back to WWE or not. He got a lot of stuff going on. He's getting sued by Brett Favre. He about to have a daughter. Mad stuff is going on, you feel me? But Pat McAfee and Michael Cole was the best announced team in WWE for years. Years. Like, for the last five years, they was the best announced team. They was going crazy together. They had energy. They had friendship. It felt real. Like, Michael Cole and Pat McAfee was a great announced team. You feel me? Super great announced team. Who else he broke? Um, Booker T. Booker T, first time announcing, was alongside with Michael Cole. You feel me? So, it's like, bro, all of these announcers that was really, really good started off with Michael Cole. Like, bro, he has to have some type of impact as an announcer. He has to have some type of impact, bro. Gangster. I know a lot of people give him shit for his 2011, I mean, 2011 Hill run, where he was the biggest fan of The Miz, you feel me? And he had the WrestleMania match with JR. I mean, Jerry the King Lawler. That was a shitty match. Everybody hates him still from that. But that was like, bro, that was like 12 years ago. Everybody has a bad Hill run. Why do people still hate him just from that, you feel me? Some people hate him from the Vince McMahon shit. Bro, Vince McMahon was in his ear every fucking minute screaming at him. Like, how do y'all, how do y'all have empathy for everybody? How do y'all have sympathy, I should say, for all the other announcers that had to go through that, but nobody has sympathy for Michael Cole? Like, he was told to call stupid shit too. And now we see Michael Cole completely different now that Triple H has had a creative, you feel me? His announcement comes off way more real than now than it ever has. That's because of Triple H, he's getting a free to just talk. Just be himself. The kid is really good, bro. Michael Cole is really, really good, bro. And I don't even say nothing about the niggas that he coached behind the scenes. The Todd Phillips. The Corey Graves. 
Byron Saxton, all them other young niggas that he coached up. You feel me? It's like, bro, Michael Cole might be the best WWE announcer of all time. Honestly, of all time. He's definitely been around longer than Vince McMahon as an announcer. He's been around longer than Jim Ross as an announcer. So I was like, bro, how is he not the number one? That's just my opinion. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Like, no. Follow me on Instagram at HRW underscore podcast. That's first and foremost. Follow me on Twitter at Hoops Raps Wrestling. That's second and foremost. Then, then, then you can like, comment, share, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend. I'll be back with more.